Good morning, everyone. This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, cup suicide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Free general collective readings, daily tea. It's a little different than my other readings. It's um, a more general current pulling of energy. It's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time that you view it. However, everyone's a different time of life path. So for some of you guys, it can resonate outside the 72 hour range. This particular channel message, I think, will definitely resonate outside the 72 hour range. I just want to make that clear according to the spiritual download. So some it could resonate within these three days. But I strongly feel for a lot of these um, people and situations, whoever this is for, it's going to be outside the three day range. Just saying. Okay. I love you guys so much. Uh, we're at 11,820 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. Just saying, ooh, I want to take a minute real quick before we get into it. Um, SEJ, ma'am, you, you have been a wonderful, uh, a wonderful provider of cards to me. And I just want to say thank you so much again. She got me this deck. She got me this deck. She got me this deck, which I had two of the three of these previous, but they were smaller cards and they were, they were like this size. She got me the bigger ones. And she recently got me a new Kipper deck, recently. So I just want to uh, give a huge, huge, huge shout out and big thank you, warm thank you to her initials are S-E-J. Thank you so much, ma'am. I just want to say that real quick. Okay. So, it's very important only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. I just want to make that very abundantly clear. Okay. So, the channel message I received was, um, it's. I just want to say real quick before I deliver it in the spiritual realm, um, it's really sad. It's very, very, very sad. It just really is. Um, I just want to say that real quick. It's it's very sad. But these people made this these choices and now this is where they're at is what I'm presuming here. So you plug it in how it resonates. But if y'all remember, I think it was like a month or two ago, I was picking up on, well, it was longer than a month or two ago. I think it was about two months ago. I heard there's about to be an HIV outbreak in a community. Then about a month ago, I heard it's about to start spreading. It's about to start spreading. It's about to start spreading. Okay, well, now we're in today, which is March 26th of 2022. Um, and the channel message I received was, um okay there were many signs so bear with me i heard a scorpio a pisces a cancer a libra a leo and a capricorn yeah that was it that was it uh so all the water signs um you know it could just be one person you know it doesn't have to be you it could be somebody you're connected to but some kind of scorpio cancer and a pisces a libra a leo and a capricorn yeah that was it um, six signs. Oh, and a Gemini, and a Gemini, and a Gemini. So seven, Gemini too. Um, currently has, I heard currently has a severe medical condition, and then I heard HIV. I heard it's about to start progressing very at a very, very, very rapid rate. Very rapid rate. And that was double confirmation for a spiritual realm because I heard it twice with a very rapid rate. Um, so you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates, um, in one's life. Now, if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to, somebody you know, or somebody you know of, however that resonates, but that's the least, that's seven signs of the universe. You know, it could be, um, two Pisces, five Libras, um, 10 Scorpios for all we know. I mean, I don't know. Everybody's on different time and life paths. Only, you know, your story, not anybody else. And like I said, if it's not you, it could be somebody you know or you're connected to or somebody you're about to learn this about, possibly. However that resonates. But I'll repeat it one more time. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Leo, Capricorn, and Gemini. So it, they, these people could have any of these in their charts, in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. They apparently already have HIV which is a very, very, very serious disease. Very serious. Um, 
you it's a sexually transmitted disease yes but you can get it in other ways like needle sharing uh, like drug use like street drug use and things like that um, and you can get it um, also if um, like a for instance like if a mother is if, if if there's a female that gets pregnant if a female has HIV and they get pregnant they can pass it to their fetus so you can get it from like dirty needle sharing like street drug drug usage or etc cetera, etc cetera, sexually transmitted ways and um like if a female already has it and they can pass it through the blood uh barrier to their fetus um how that resonates but um i feel these are adult energies because i didn't hear i mean i didn't hear babies or anything or children or anything like that i feel they're adult energies um some they might know they have um, HIV possibly, or they might not know they have HIV. I'm not sure. Only they know their story, not anybody else. Hopefully it's not you. Maybe it's somebody you know. But I heard it's about to start progressing at a rapid rate, double confirmation, rapid rate. I mean, about to go fast. Now, anybody doesn't know, HIV can turn into AIDS. And so at a rapid rate, I'm presuming it's about to turn into AIDS. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, AIDS is very, very, very serious. I mean, now there is treatment out there in the universe for HIV. I mean, there is. Um, I don't know if these people have went and got treatment um, or if they're on, you know, I don't know if they're on treatment, if they've gotten tested. I'm not sure. Only these people know their story, not anybody else. But whether they are or aren't on treatment, it sounds like it's about to turn into AIDS. Is what it sounds like from the spiritual download. Progressing at a rapid rate, I'm presuming about to turn into AIDS. And I am serious about that. Uh, I'm serious. So you plug it in however that resonates. Um, however that resonates. Let me see. I was going to do a little, read a little um, something on AIDS. Yeah. How HIV spreads by blood products, unclean needles, or unscreened blood, by having unprotected vaginal, anal, or oral sex, by mother to baby, by pregnancy, labor, or nursing. Um, uh, HIV requires a medical diagnosis. Within a few weeks of HIV infection, flu-like symptoms such as fever, sore throat, and fatigue can occur. Then the disease is usually asymptomatic until it progresses to AIDS. AIDS symptoms include weight loss, fever or night sweats, fatigue, and recurrent affections. Treatment consists of HIV antivirals. No cure exists for AIDS, but strict adherence to antiretroviral therapy, ART, can dramatically slow the disease's progress, prevent secondary infections and complications, and, pro and prolong life. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, wow. There's at least seven signs in the universe that have, uh, or seven people with seven signs uh, that have this right now. Whether they know they have it or they don't know, I don't know. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Libra, Capricorn, Gemini. They can have these, any of these signs in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Thumb, and Hamlet, Jupiter charts. This is so serious. So serious. All right. I can guide it to get moon cycle. It's really sad. We have fear on the bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I hear anything. Some of these people are terrified about the disease itself, and they should be. It's it's a, it's going to come quick, and it's about to come nasty for these people. Some people, uh, some of these people, are spreading it to other people, and they're going to end up in lawsuits. And some of these people are afraid other people are about to find out, 
and they're about to through many shocking series of chain of events. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This, oh, this is terrible. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my goodness. This energy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so whoever these people are, whether it, you know, it's you or somebody you're connected to, hopefully it's not you. Um, I heard they're scared. They're scared. Um, some they're scared for different reasons, though, it sounds like. Some they're actually scared of the disease itself. And I heard they should be because it's about to progress very, very, very quickly. So, I mean, it's about to, some of these people might have already had decreased immune systems before acquiring this possibly is what I'm feeling for some. Um, some, they might not have went and got tested, you know, at a proper time. And now it's progressing just so freaking quick, quickly, possibly. Um, some, it could be their, I mean, some, it could be their lifestyle, you know, that's caused this possibly. I don't know. Only these people know their story, not anybody else, but it, they're scared. They're scared some about the disease itself. And yeah, I would never, ever, 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 ever want HIV. Ever, ever. It's a nasty, nasty, nasty um, thing it is. Um, but you can, you know, you can stray away from it and, you know, not get it by making healthy, good choices. And that's just the truth. Um, and some people are, some of these people are afraid of, um, uh, it getting out, it getting out to other people. And I heard through many shocking series of chain of events, it is going to get out to other people and other people are going to find out. And some of these people are spreading it around to other people and they're going to end up in lawsuits um, because they are free willingly spreading it around. Now, you're not supposed, if you have HIV, you're not supposed to go around having sex with people and not tell them you have HIV. You're supposed to tell them. You're supposed to do the right thing and tell them. You get into lawsuits with people when you have HIV, when you don't do the right thing and tell them. And then you end up giving it to them. And I'm, I'm just being real. So that is probably where the lawsuit energy is going to come from. I feel for some of these people, they have been sexually active still. And they have not been uh, honest with their partner or partners and not have told them that they have HIV. And now the partner or partners is maybe about to find out they have HIV or have already found out they have HIV. And I'm serious about that. That is serious. That is serious. That is serious. I mean, that is serious. You, can, you can't do that. You just can't. You can't. Um, but some of these people are. They are. They're bucking the rules. They're not listening. And buddy, they're about to get in lawsuits. I think it's because they're spreading it around and not being honest with their sexual partners or partner. How that resonates. It's really terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. So they're scared. But the thing is, is it sounds like some of them still are not making good choices when it comes to sexual health or health and period and what have you. I mean, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. And there was another one too. You'll have to go back and check it. There was three reasons why these people were scared. One, afraid of other people getting, um, finding out. I heard through shocking series of chain events, other people are going to find out. Um, um, and scared of the disease process. And there was a third one. There was a third one. You'll have to go back and check the third one. Oh, my goodness. Share messages you have for the plug is. Action. Resilience. Number 15 or 21 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 15 or 21, it could be possible ages of a uh, child of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible date of um, jersey number, 15 or 21. Action. And Aries is about to become very significant in some of these people's lives very soon. And another Scorpio. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates? 
Heard of Aries is about to become very significant in some of these people's lives and another Scorpio. So um, Aries and Scorpionic energy. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. Some in a positive way, some in a negative negative way. Okay, okay. So some of these Aries are about to be significant in these people's lives. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. So action here is the action. This I'm presuming this Aries and this um, Scorpio, other Scorpio, is about to. Uh, they're about to take action into these people's lives. I heard some in a positive way, some in a negative way. Maybe some of these Aries and Scorpios are work in treatment facilities, like, um, you know, to help help them get medication. Maybe for some, they work in um, a hospital to help them get treatment. Maybe for some, they, uh, in the positive aspect here, in the positive aspect. Um, maybe in the negative aspect, they are the ones about to place lawsuits on them. Um, maybe their family members about to spread this around. Uh, which you're not supposed to because of HIPAA violations. And I'm just being serious. You're really, really not supposed to because of HIPAA. But, um, I mean, I don't know. I'm not these people. But it's terrible. Um, they might be family members about to spread this around, like gossip and drama. It might be neighbors uh, seeing these people coming in and out of their homes. It might be um, just gossip Gary's or gossip Gales, um, and they find this information out and they're about to just splay it all over the universe. And, it, and of course that's on the negative aspect, but some kind of Aries and Scorpionic energy about to get involved in these people's lives. They're about to take action. For some of these Aries and Scorpios, they could work at the health department, possibly, public health department, possibly. Um, you plug it in however it resonates, but some kind of action of an Aries and another Scorpio in a, either a positive or a negative way in these people's lives. Heard Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Libra, Gemini, and Capricorn. You plug it in however it resonates, but action in these people's lives. However that is. For some, it could be lawyer energy, uh, possibly, because some of these people are about to get in lawsuits, I think, with sexual partner or partners. Um, because I think so, and the action could be some of these sexual partner or partners about to take a test and realize they have it too, possibly. You plug it in, however it resonates. This is terrible. Resilience, upright. There's about to be a significant death for one of these people soon. For one of these people, it's someone connected to them. It's about to spur other series of chain of events. Huge exposure here. Public health situation. Someone is about to contact the public health department regarding one of these people very soon. One of these people is going to be very, very, very pissed that this person's about to do it, but they are about to do it. Oh my gosh. Whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And then we have gratitude reverse on bottom deck. So these people were not thankful for um, uh, something in their life. They were not thankful or grateful or... I mean, it sounds like they just, it sounds like these people are like, um, like sex, drugs, and rock and roll kind of people, or maybe just sex and drugs people, um, not necessarily rock and roll. I mean, I'm not sure, but buddy, they um, have lived up the party lifestyle. I'll tell you that for some of these people, I'm not saying all of them, but some of them, I feel they're just like party, party, party. And that's just kind of where they, why they have gotten in this situation for some of them. Um, now, the people, the partners of these people, it sounds like they were just like collateral damage, unfortunately. And it's really sad. It's really freaking sad. But that's probably where the lawsuits are going to come in because they, these people, once they realize they have HIV from these people, I think they're about to realize they were collateral damage to these people and they're about to take action. That's exactly what I think. This is terrible. This is so terrible. 
Um, but I heard basically um, someone is about to contact the public health department connected to one of these people soon. One of these people is going to be pissed at this other person. It could be you possibly uh, contacting the public health department, possibly. Maybe you're the one about to contact the public health department on one of these people. Um, either you have already found out they have HIV or you're about to find out. Maybe you're one of the ones about to find out you have HIV from being sexually connected to them, possibly. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But somebody is about to contact the public health department regarding one of these people. And I heard one of these people is going to be very pissed that they're about to do it. But I heard, uh, but honestly, that sounds like what needs to be done. I mean, it, it, I'm serious because these people are, they're not being responsible. They're not being responsible. It'd be one thing if they stopped doing what they were doing or if they were honest with their sexual partner and they went and got treated. They're, you know, they're controlling their sexual health. They're taking charge and control and they're not being irresponsible with the public health, with public health, i.e. going out and having sex with everybody and their mama and spreading it around to everybody and their mama. I mean, you can't, you, you can, well, you're not supposed to do that because that's how other people get sick. When, when you have this kind of disease, you have to be responsible. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. Um, and it sounds like a lot of these people are not being responsible. Uh, that's probably how they got in this situation to begin with. And I'm just being serious. Um, but somebody's about to contact, I think it might be the Aries or the, the Scorpio about to contact the public health department on one of these people, possibly. Maybe you're the Aries or the Scorpio about to contact the public health department on one of these people. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Uh, but resilience in this situation, as I think the person about to stand up and contact the public health department on one of these people. And I'm serious. I, whoever you are, sir or ma'am, about to contact the public health department on one of these people, um... I think you're very resilient and you're about to take some action because you know whoever this person is you're about to contact on about these um in this mix this at least seven people mix here um i think you know they're very irresponsible with their sexual health or their health period um so much so they're i don't feel they're verbalizing with their sexual partners that they have it and you're supposed to you are supposed to or quit having sex that's just the truth um i think they just want to keep on living life the way they want to live it but you you once you get this disease you you have to be responsible and that's just the truth oh this is terrible A very prominent high member of a particular community is about to realize one of their family members has this HIV. It is about to completely change their perspective on the past in a huge way and cause them to, to take great action. Oh my Lord. Do you plug it in? How it resonates. Wow, this is strong. So, a very high prominent member of a community, a very high prominent member. So I'm thinking maybe boardroom energy, uh, you know, maybe chief of police or a lawyer or a judge or, uh, you know, somebody high. I'm just giving examples, but somebody high. Um, maybe it's an administrator, uh, executive, somebody high in a community. I mean, high level in a community. Um, they're about to realize their family, one of their family members has HIV. I think it's from one of these seven people, seven primary people, seven primary spreaders of this crap. Um, they're about to realize they have HIV, I think, from one of these spreader people um, that's not very responsible with sexual health or health period. Um, and um, I heard it's going to completely change their perspective on the past and uh, cause them to take great action. So maybe you are the very high prominent member of your community that's about to find out your family member has HIV, I think from one of these spreader people. Um, and you're about to take great action. You're about to take great action um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whatever action that is, only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. And you're very resilient and strong. Um, I think you're about to stand up to the situation or stand up for a situation or stand up for... I think something you didn't think you were going to stand up for in the past. Um, but now 
it sounds like so much has happened from the past. It's changed your perspective on things. Um, and I think it's made you stronger. Resilience, I think it's made you stronger. Uh, or it's about to make you stronger. This is this is serious. You cannot take HIV lightly. You just cannot. I think these people did. And that's why it's about to start progressing so quickly. And I'm serious. Heard there's about to be a death in here. There's about to be a death in here. Some, I think, a death of one of these people, I'm thinking, soon. And a death of somebody connected to one of these people. So at least two deaths in the universe coming soon. And that's the action energy too, I'm feeling. At least one of these people, it sounds like they're about to pass away soon. Maybe from HIV, maybe from something else. I mean, I don't know. Only they know their story, not anybody else. And somebody connected to one of these people. So it might be one of the sexual partners. It might be somebody else. But at least two deaths coming in the universe. You plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. One particular family name is about to be in huge shame. Huge, huge, huge shame. Because of the past. Very public. Oh, my goodness. This is terrible. Heard one particular family name is about to be in huge, huge, huge shame. Shame. So, like, S-H-A-M-E. Shame. Like, shame energy. Because of the past. So, um, I heard it's about to go very public. So, I think people are about to find out. I think one of the family members is in this main seven spreader group. Um, and I think some of these people are, I don't think they're like low levels of society. I, I mean, I hate to say it like that.